First of all, I would uh, love to welcome all of you in the live class. And this is lesson number 55 for grade one mathematics. What we are studying nowadays, guys, it's subtraction, unit subtraction. And we completed the testing zone and the learning zone. We, sorry, we completed the practice zone and the learning zone of the subtraction. And now we are uh, working on the testing zone of this unit, okay? Question number one, two, and three was uh, given to you as a homework. And I already uh, have written the answer of these questions. Today we'll start from question number four. And so you are going to help me in question number four, five, six, seven, and eight. And uh, you will tell me what number we should write here. So those students who want to participate, uh, please raise your hand. Question number four, Part A, subtract four from 27, 27 minus four. Raise your hand so that I can ask you. Subtract 27, four minus 27, okay. Abdurrahman. Yes, sir. Yes, Abdurrahman. You have to subtract the ones first, seven and four. Seven minus four is equals to what? Three. Three, very good. If I draw a line, how many lines should I draw? One. Seven. Very good, seven. Two, two three, three four, four, five, six, six seven. seven. How many lines? Why eight? I should draw only seven, right? Okay, I need to minus four. So I will cut how many lines? Four. One, two, three, four. How many lines are left? One, two, and three. So seven minus four is equals to three. So I will write here three. I will write three. I can make it bigger for you. Seven minus four equals two, three. All right. Now this is two. 210 minus 0, 10 is equals to? 2. 2. So I should write 2 here? Yes. So this is the answer. 27 minus 4 equals to 23. You have to complete these question answers with me in your book, guys. Okay? This is the class work we are doing. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Welcome. Uh, Adam Umar. Yes, sir. Yes, Adam. This is question number 4B. I have to minus 32 from 78. So subtract the ones first. 8 minus 2 is equals to what? 7. Don't know. Draw 8 lines. How many lines should I draw? I need to minus 2 from 8. I will draw eight lines. One, count with me. Eight lines. Two. One, two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. I need to minus how many lines? I need to minus two. So I need to cut how many lines? Two. two. So I will cut two lines. Two. How many lines are left? One, two, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Five and six. How many lines are left? Yes, six. six. Lines. So eight minus two is equals to six. Six. So I will write here six. 
Now, subtract the tens. Seven tens minus three tens is equals to. Draw seven lines again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Four. I need to minus three, so I will cut three lines. One, two, three. How many lines are left? One, two, three, four. Four. Four lines are left. So seven minus three is equals to. Four. Oh, so right four here. Seventy-eight minus thirty-two equals to forty-six. Very good. Okay. Who is next? Jamal Badar. Yes, sir. Jamal, I need to subtract nine from eight. Tell me the answer. Eight minus nine is equals to nine. How nine? Eight minus nine equals to nine. Can I minus nine from eight? No. Okay. So what we will do? Take one from six. Very good, guys. We cannot minus eight from nine. Why? Because eight is smaller and nine is bigger. If I draw here eight lines like this. So I cannot cut nine lines. Either I can cut eight lines or less than eight. I cannot cut nine lines because eight is smaller. So we will take one from six. Okay, Jamal. If we take one from six, it becomes five. This tens becomes five. Very good. And this is now eighteen. Eighteen minus nine is equals to nine. Nine. Very good. Let me check with the help of line. These are eight. I will draw eighteen lines. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen. Now cut nine lines. One, two, three, four. Five, Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. How many lines are left? One, nine. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine lines are left. So eighteen minus nine is equals to nine. I will write here nine. It is nine. This is not six now. This is five. This is. So five minus five is equals to yes, Jamal. Zero. Zero. Five minus five is equals to zero. Very good. So don't need to write zero. Thank you, Jamal. I again repeat, guys. This was eight and this was nine. So you have to subtract nine from eight. So you cannot. Why? Because eight is smaller than nine. You cannot subtract nine from eight. In that case, what you will do? You will go to the tens and ask for one. There are six tens. When one ten is given to this one, so it becomes five. It was eight. 
when it gets one tens, one tens and eight ones makes eighteen. So now you have to minus nine from eighteen. Draw eighteen lines, cut nine lines. You will get the answer nine. Come to the tens now. It is now five. It is five. Five tens minus five tens equals to zero tens. No need to write. Okay. Any problem? Yes, guys. Any problem? No. Yes, Okay. Come to the page number sixty now. Turn your page. Come to the page number sixty now. Turn the page and come to the page number sixty now. For question four, D, E, and F. D, E, and F. I told you to raise your hand if you want to participate. Hamzal Sayed. Hamzal Sayed. Can you hear me? Hamza, can you hear me? Hassan Asad, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hassan. Yes. For question four uh, D, subtract five from zero. Five more zero equals five. Equals five. How? Five. How? Can you subtract five from zero? No. No. What you will do Ten. now? Ten. Very good. You will take one from ten. nine. You will take one from nine, and it will become ten. Right? Yes. And nine is eight. Nine is now eight. Very good. So ten minus five is equals to draw ten lines and cut five. One, two, two three. three. Four, five, five, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Cut five lines. One, One two, 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 three, three four, four, five. Five. How many lines are left? One, One two, two, three. three Four, four, five, five. Ten minus five is equals to five. Five. Very good. So I will write here five. This is now eight. Eight minus six yeah. is equals to draw eight lines and cut six lines. One. One. Two. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Cut six lines. One, two, two three, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. five, six. How many lines are left? Two. two. So eight minus six is equals to twenty-five. 8 minus 6 is equals to 2 and 90 minus 65 is equals to 25. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Who is next? Ilhaj. Ilhaj, 84 minus 68, subtract the ones first. Okay. Can you subtract 8 from 4? What you will do now? From the 8, I take 1. 
from the eight, you take one like Four. this. Draw 14 line. Just 14 now. And it will be what? Seven. It will be seven. Now you have to minus eight from 14. Draw 14 lines. One, yes. two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Cut how many lines? Eight. Eight. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many lines are left? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 14 minus eight is equals to? No, six. Six. You will write here six. One. Now this is seven. Seven minus six is equals to? No, one. One. If you draw seven lines and cut six lines, that will be one. Very good. Five Very good. Even if you draw, look here. Draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Cut one line. How many lines are left? One. Two, three, four, five, and six. So seven minus six is equal to one. If you cut six lines, there will be only one line left. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you cut six lines, there will be only one line left. Seven minus six is equal to one. Right? Okay, welcome. The next question is F, 31 minus 20. Thirty-one minus twenty. Azam, can you hear me? Azam. Yes, sir. Okay. Azam. Question yes, 4 sir. F, 31 minus 20. Subtract 0 from 1. 1 minus 0 is equal to? 2. Minus one. 1 minus 0 is equal to? 1. 1. Very good. 1. Very good. It will be 1. If you minus 0 from any number, this number will be your answer. One minus zero equals to one. And subtract three tens minus two tens is equals to how many tens? One. Three tens minus two tens is equals to how many three. tens? Three. How three? Subtract. Draw three lines. Cut two lines. How many lines are left? Two. No, no. One, one. One. Three minus two is equals to one. Okay. So 31 minus 20 is equals to what? Yes. One. 11. 31 minus 20 equals to 11. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Coming to the question number five, guys. Question number five. Hamad. Yes. Hamad, there is a question. Amir has seven pencils and five pens. How many fewer pens than pencils does he have? Can you tell me the answer of it? Seven. Yes. 
7 minus 5 equal to. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let me ask to one more student. Ahmad Muhammad. Yes, sir. Question number five. There are seven pencils and seven pens Amir is having. So can you tell me how many fewer pens than pencils does Amir have? Two. Two, okay. Let minus me... five, minus seven. Uh, yes. Minus five. Minus five, my, my, uh, minus seven, my, uh, uh, equal five. Seven minus five equals two. Very good. I know what you want to say. No problem. I understand. Amar. Yes, sir. Question number five. Amir has seven pencils and five pens. How many fear pens than pencils do you have? What? Question number five. Amir has seven pencils and five pens. How many fewer pens than pencils does Amir have? Two. Very good. The answer is two. So all boys answer correctly. The answer is two guys. Why? Because Amir has seven pencils. And how many pens does he have? He has only five pens. Question is asking, how many fear, how many less pens, this pencils does he have? If you compare the pencils with the pens, so how many less pens you have rather than pencils? How many fear pens you have rather than pencils? So what you will do, you will minus five from seven and you the answer will be two. Fewer is the opposite of more. Whenever you have fewer in the question, that's mean you have two minus. So you will write seven. Minus. Five. Seven minus five is equal to two. Write it in your book, please. Okay. And Amir has two fear pens, then pencils. This is the answer. Now for question number six. Question number six is saying, Noor buys five roses. Okay. And Noor buys three more roses than Adina. So how many roses does Adina buy? Okay. Noor buy five roses. She buy three more roses than Adina. How many roses does Adina, uh, that does Adina buy? For this answer, Abdul Rahman. Question number six. How many roses does Adina buy? Can you tell me? If Noor buy five and she buys three more roses than Adina. So how many roses does Adina buy? No. Five. No, 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 no. Abdullah, can you answer it? Yes. Abdullah, can you answer? Yes. How many roses does Adina buy? 
Five. Look, read the. I'm reading a question. Noor buy five roses, five roses, and she buy three more roses than Adina. How many roses does Adina buy? Noor buy five roses. No. It does. She doesn't buy five. I'm not asking for Noor. I'm asking for Adina. Adina. Two. 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 Okay. Let's see. Ibrahim Muhammad. Yes. Yes, Ibrahim. Noor buy five roses, and she buys three more roses than Adina. Can you tell me how many roses does Adina buy? Two, okay. Thank you. Let me check with one more student. Hamza Al Sayed. Yes, sir. Please answer question number six. How many roses does Adina buy? If Noor buy five, which is three more than Adina? Minus a three um, uh, equal a two. Very good. So, guys, those who answer two, they are right. The answer is two. Why two? Because the question is saying Noor by five. How many roses does the Noor buy? It is five. And then you are being told that she buys three more roses than Adina. That's mean. She has three more roses than Adina. So, if you want to find out how many roses does Adina buy, just subtract this three more from total roses, which is five. So, five minus three is equals to two. So, you will write five. Minus. Three equals two two. So Adina buy how many roses? Two roses. Now question number seven. Frank has nine stamps and he gives three stamps to Ima. How many stamps are left? So this is a very simple question. Frank has nine stamps. You give three stamps to Ima. How many stamps does he have now? Omar Mustafa. Yes, sir. Answer me. How many stamps does the Frank have now? If he has nine and he gives three to Ima. My, my minus. What, sir? Frank has nine stamps. He gives three stamps to Ima. How many stems are left with him? Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What? Question number seven. Can you see the book? This is the question. Frank has nine stems. He gives three stems to Ima. How many stems are left with him? Six. Okay. Anas Ahmad. Frank has nine stamps. He gives three stamps to Ima. How many stamps are left? Six. 
six very good because total nine stamps he gave three stamps to ima you minus three from nine and that will be six so right you will write here six thank you sir welcome Anas Muhammad. Yes. Question number eight. There are seventeen candies in a jar. Bubble eat five candles. Five candies. How many candies are there in uh, are left in the jar? Yes. Twelve. Twelve. Very good. Very good. I'll take one more student. Abdul Rauf. Yes, seventeen minus twelve is equal to twelve. If there are seventeen candies in a jar, welcome. Bubble eat five. How many candies are there left in the jar? There are seventeen. Yes, twelve. Twelve is the answer. Very good. Very good. Very good, guys. Because there are total seventeen candies. If bubble eat five, this means five are not in the jar now. So you minus five from seventeen. You can write like this also. One ten seven ones and five seven minus five equals to two. One minus zero equals to one. Or you can draw seventeen line, cut five line, count or you can use your fingers also so i will like the answer that is 12 so this is the end of our today's lecture guys i hope you understand keep practicing in your home and uh, i hope you will get good command in all the subtraction addition and all the units okay guys it's uh, time to say bye bye i'll see you in the next class